Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss about what is a data model and what are the various types of models are available and the, the DBMS course what we will study, which model it will be used, all these things we will discuss and then we will discuss what is a schema and an example for a schema, all these things we will discuss. Now what is meant by data model? It is a collection of high level data description that hides low level storage details. Meaning is that whenever you are using any like IRCTC website or any website, you will worry about how it will looks, whether it has features, all these things. But you will not worry in which server it is stored, if the server is located where, all the storage information you will not look at. And whether they have used what kind of indexing mechanism they have used, whether they have used single level indexing or multi level indexing, whether they use the B trees or B plus trees, all these things you will not look at. You will worry about the description only. What are the features are there? What are the other extra features it will provide? All these things only you will worry. So the data model will describe about the collection of high level data description that hides the low level storage details. Now various data models are there. We have network model is there, hierarchical model is there and relational model is there. Among all these hierarchical network hierarchical network people be used to use in the IBM okay so those models were not uh, successful and then people have started using the relational model so in the entire course we will in the entire course of a DBMS whatever the syllabus you see the university syllabus or the gate syllabus or UGC net syllabus they mainly talk about the relational model why it is a relation model is that much famous is that because of the SQL SQL is famous, so it makes it that relational model is famous. In a relational model, everything will comes in terms of a relations. We will have an entity and we will have a relationship. What is meant by entity? All these things I will discuss in the coming videos. Okay. So you will have a relationship between two tables. Okay. So that's why it is called as a relational model. In relational model, you should understand the few terminologies. What is the terminology is that a schema. Schema description of data in terms of data model is called as a schema. Description of data in terms of data model means what kind of model you are using. Whether you are using network model or hierarchical model or it is a relational model. So in each model the data will be described in a different way. That is what I want to say. In each model, the data will be described in a different way. So description of data in terms of data model is called as a schema. In relational model, it will be represented as a student. Suppose if you want to represent about a student table, it will be represented as a student. It can be called as a relation name or a table name. And you will have a set of attributes, SID, it is an integer, attribute one which is an integer, then you have an attribute to called as a name, which is of a string. So this is what we will call it as a schema. So in the schema, you will understand that, okay, this is the student information. That information consists of his roll number and the name. So you will have that information. So I hope you have understood what is a data model and what are the various types of data models in the DVMS course, which model you will study. All these things I hope you have understood. Thank you so much.